Today we're going to be working on doing transfers from one plate to another plate. Um, say you want to expand this culture out, you're looking for a particular type of growth. Uh, this is how we're going to do it. Um, this is the most sterile way. Um, we're right in front of a flow hood. Our flow hood has been running for about half an hour before we ever start our work. We spray our whole area down with Lysol. Um, alcohol on your hands, always before you work. You can't be too clean here. So first things first, we're going to take our syringe with a torch. Use an induction heater, induction heaters are great. Uh, I just currently don't use one. Um, I seem to like a torch, uh, but induction heaters are great as well to uh, sterilize tools. Put that out to the side. So first thing we wanna do is just take our scalpel and we're just gonna cool it down actually, just on like an outside piece of agar here. So we'll just cool it right down. Now when you're selecting growth, you wanna to go towards the outside, but not right on the outside rim. Um, the reason being that's the closest chances for contaminations if you're on the outside rim. So if you see, I take just a little small piece, put it in. Towards the outside, you know, I'm trying to find certain types of growth here. Right there, you don't even have to cut deep. Just a very, very small piece will do you a lot. I don't drop that one. Good. Move this cover. I like to keep everything as close to the front of the flow hood as possible uh, when you're doing work like this. Um, you don't have to sterilize your blade each and every time. Uh, there's, you know, in different scenarios, you may have to sterilize more, but if you're doing transfers, you should be good to go. This one's giving me a little hard time. There it is. Sometimes they don't want to come off the dish, and that's okay. As always, when you're doing this type of work, wear a mask. It's even best, like I always try to say, don't even talk. Uh, I'm talking to you guys. This is actually a recording after the fact, so I'm doing all this work in complete silence. If your spouse says, hey, honey, I need to talk to you, just kind of make them wait. This one give me a little bit harder of a time. Take a chunk right there. Good. And from here, I'll wrap these plates back up and you're good to go. You've just done a transfer uh, from one agar plate to a second agar plate. And you know, in about a few, a few days, these will grow out and uh, you can work from there. Thanks for stopping in to A Plus Grain. Make sure you like and subscribe this video. It really helps me be able to put out more content for you guys. Uh, and I really appreciate it. Thanks.